Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to resin our Milky Way. I've eat, um, leveled it up as much as I can. I think this is a little bit warped, this thing, but well, we'll go with it. Anyway, so in here I have 300 mils of uh, Just Resin's Diamond Coat. And... I'm going to pour that on and smooth that over. I'll straight this out. So this board is a 60 centimeter by 30 centimeter and uh, just resin have a resin calculator so I went on there and calculated how much resin I would need and that's how I come up with 300 mils all right so I'm just gonna Move this over and spread it out. Make sure we cover it all. And then I'm probably going to use my hands and do the sides because this has got a sloping inside. So you need to help it get across the edges. Straight this out. So this board is a 60 centimetre by 30 centimetre. And uh, just resin have a resin calculator. So I went on there and calculated how much resin I would need. And that's how I come up with 300 mils. Alright, so I'm just going to smooth this over and spread it out. Make sure we cover it all. And then I'm probably going to use my hands and do the sides. Because this has got a sloping inside. So you need to help it get across the edges and down those sides. So... Probably going to be easiest with my hand. So you can feel what you're doing. Alright. We've got a nice even coverage there. Right. Clean that up in a little bit. Alright. And over we go with our hands, sort of just gently pushing it over and running it around. Push it over the edge so you can then feel where it's coating. And you run it over the edge. And that way when it drips, it should drip down that edge as well, which is what you want. Make sure you get those corners. Let's go over it again and you can feel where it's not coated. Alright, so I'm going to take my heat gun, right. ignore this nozzle, it doesn't have to be this nozzle and I'm going to go over and I'm going to pop those bubbles. Alright, now I'm going to get my propane torch, I'm oh, sorry, butane torch. And I'm going to torch out the rest of the bubbles. So I'm going to 
let that sit for a while and I'll check on it for little dust bunnies which I can see so then you get your tweezers looking on the sides you'll be able to see them and pick them out so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back in 20 minutes and probably torch it again to get the final lot of bubbles out and then I want to come back in about I don't know four four five hours when it's set up and it stopped dripping um and then it uh will still be tacky so i'm then going to put my lux powders on it so i will see you in a few hours hey guys i'm back it's time to add some lux powders i'm excited um look to be truthful this powder opal 2.0 by win modern art I just love it. See that colour reflection? It throws off this beautiful blue. So it looks white, but it throws off a blue. So I'll definitely be using that in there. And I think I'll throw in some of this prism, which is a rainbow, like it's like a holographic one. It's just gorgeous. So I think this piece deserves at least those two. So let's get started. Now, just going to take a little bit in my hand. Now first I'm going to do the opal. So I'm just going to take a little bit. And I'm just going to start to spread it just lightly over our piece. Just along the line. too much to start with just enough to create a little bit of sparkly interest so when the light hits it you will see these shimmers of blue it's just beautiful I'll take you down and show you what I mean Now, who doesn't love a bit of sparkle? Okay, I think that's enough of the opal. Let's put the rest back. Now we'll dive into some prism. I can get the back oh, There we go. Ooh, sparkles everywhere. Okay. And just the same, just lightly over it. And this one just throws out every colour of the rainbow when it hits. So it's just beautiful. Okay. like waving a magic wand look at that oh what do you see in the light oh gosh just sparkled everywhere closing that bag ah, fantastic all right i'm going to bring you down because i don't know how much you can see in the light from up there so bear with me i'm going to shake a little bit sorry about that okay so let me show you the sparkle. Hopefully you're picking it up in the light. Sometimes it's really hard to pick it up. There we go, look. Look at that up through there. It's just beautiful. And hopefully it's not too overwhelming, but yeah, that prism, you just pick up every single colour of the rainbow. And then you get the beautiful blue of the Opal 2.0, which is my favourite. 
Mind you, I'm starting to really like this prism. I mean, look at that. Look, you can see reds and yellows, greens, blues. Oh, just beautiful. And look, it's so hard to see in, in this lighting, but in real life, it's just so pretty. Okay. All right, I'm not sure if I've finished with this piece yet. Uh, maybe some more. So I'm just going to let this dry overnight and then I'll come back to you. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. And, oh gosh, the reflections are really bad today. Um, I might have just gone back and put some more stars in. Uh, just used acrylic white paint and dotted them in myself. And now I'm going to give it the final flood coat. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've mixed up uh, my resin. There's 250 mils of stone coat countertop resin because they're really good for hardness and light fastness and all of that stuff. So that's what I thought I'd use on this coat. Now, I'm going to add the tiniest bit of this soft pearlescent glitter dust in Snow White. Um, let's see if you can see it there. It is like a Snow White colour. I would have used some the Wind Modern Art stuff that I've already used in there. But this, it gives a rainbow. And I don't want a rainbow. I just want the very clear, very white. Um, and only the very tiniest, tiniest bit. And just to help with a little bit of sparkle in the background. So I'll just open it up and I'll show you exactly what I mean by tiny. Alright, so I'm only... Oh, can you see it coming out? Alright. Maybe that much. Maybe even less. Just the teeny tiniest bit. And I'll mix that in. And it will just give enough interest in that top coat that you'll just see a slight reflection every now and then of when the uh, light hits one of these really fine particles. Like they're very fine. So I'm just going to mix that in. Get a good mix. I've already pre-mixed this for my five minutes. Can you see that? Just that tiny, about, tiny bit of shimmer. It's all you want, like you, you can easily overdose this, and uh, even that might have been a bit too much. But hey, doesn't matter. It's not for a customer. It's for me, and who doesn't like sparkle? All right, now we're just going to pour this out. And I'm going to move it around with my hands again. Since I've mixed it real good, I'm going to scrape out my cup. Make sure of it every little bit. Just makes cleanup easier. And what I do for cleanup is after I finish pouring, I'll then get my baby wipes. Well, first I'll get a big... Um, uh, dry paper towel and I'll run that over it and get as much moisture out of it as possible and then I just finish off cleaning it with a baby wipe and I find baby wipes are really good for getting rid of resin I think I've squeezed all I can out of there one more scrape I love these silicone um, scrapers. They're the best. Okay. Uh, I might actually use that to... Nope. Just don't use the hands. All right. Let's get into it. Hang on. I might uh, let's just warm it up a little bit.
side and straight into it. Pushing it out to the edges, not quite over the edges yet. Making sure I can see that every bit's being covered up. Push it out to the corner. Now this corner has actually lifted, the laminate has lifted. Um, but like I said, this is just for me, I'm not too fussed. So. But it was lifted like that before we started, so this was for a client you just wouldn't use this you just get a new piece of wood really all right now i can just push it over the edge smooth it over with my fingers quite therapeutic doing this making sure it goes over Really making sure you get into those corners. And you can feel with your hands where it's gone and where it's not gone. That's the beauty of doing it with your gloved hand. Always have gloves. Okay. Then you can get your baby wipe. And clean off your hand. Now, I can barely see that sparkle in there, which is good because it's just going to catch the light every now and then and you go, oh, that's a star, that's a star. And it'll just give it even more depth than what it's already got. And it's already got quite a bit of depth. So now we're just going to blast it with the torch again to get rid of all the bubbles. about the reflection check it for dust bunnies and that's the beauty of doing one of these galaxy paws with all the stars in the background if you've got a dust bunny you're probably not even going to notice it so now i can see them so i'm going to pick them out and i've got a cat who has hair everywhere so Always be on the lookout for those hairs. You have to get down and look on the side. And I'll probably give that another torch in a minute. So that's it for this flood coat. And it's probably going to be the last coat it's going to get. As long as it finishes up quite smooth. And I will be back and show you the finished product. Okay. The table is now finished. So I just thought I'd bring in a little bit of a close-up, try not to get too much reflection. It's impossible. You can see my fat head. Sorry about that. Window reflecting. But I'm just hoping you can maybe see the depth. It's got great depth. Love it through there. Yeah, it's so hard to pick up in this very reflective light. Anyway, oh, she's looking schmick. All done. <laughs>